The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm talking about a new way to play Pong on modern TVs. I love Pong. I collect Pong units. I talk about Pong quite a bit. Uh, it's something that's a timeless classic. I love playing Pong. Love it so much I even got an uh, unofficial Pong machine in my other expansion room. And so here we go. This is the Atari Flashback Blast Pong and Atari Hits. And what it is, is At Games is doing a series of these $20 HDMI dongle units. And they're, they're offering these at an affordable price. And different units offer different games. I've done a couple on my channel already. I also cover the Atari Flashback. I really am excited about this one because I want to play Pong and I want to play it on my modern TV. So I'm going to do an unboxing and I'm going to talk about this product. Let's check it out. All right, so here we go. This is the At Games Atari Flashback Blast Pong and Atari Hits. And here's the box, really cool. And one thing you notice on the box is you're not seeing any cables coming from the paddles. And when you open it up, there is indeed a cable going from one paddle to the next. So that's a little, that's a little misleading. Uh, on the box itself, it's pretty cool looking on the back. It shows all the games that are included. One thing to note is Video Olympics is eight of the 20 games that are included on this package. I think I would have liked Video Olympics to be one of the games, not eight. I, and not. it looks like it doesn't have the arcade version of Pong, which I think is kind of a missed opportunity. It would have been nice to have the arcade version of Pong on there. Comes with a simple manual. It explains how to hook it up. And it has, like the other one I talked about on my channel, the Pac-Man. You have this little tiny unit, and you plug this in to your TV. Now, you do need to have a USB cable or another way to plug this in. This is a power cable. And if you don't have that connected to your TV, this cable is really short. So that's a little downside of that. So this takes power. This is the tiny short cable that is used for power and you have to hook that into a USB outlet and if you don't have that you have to get a, a, a longer cable somewhere else that's a little cumbersome here's the paddles themselves so two paddles they look like the classic mold of the original 2600 they feel a little light this one is the first player it has a little button on it then you turn it on and then it'll have a blue light it does have menu and rewind and some buttons on top and a, a and a button on the side there's actually the rewind buttons on the side one of the paddles takes two AAA batteries and that's how this is powered and so i don't know how long the batteries last and they are wired the cable seems fairly long in length, but yep, comes with stickers. And here we go. Let's check it out. So when you turn it on, this is the Atari Flashback Volume 3 Blast. And this is the Paddle Walmart exclusive. I was really excited to get this and to test it out. And when you turn on the when you turn on the unit, you have to turn on the paddles as well. A blue light appears and the first thing I notice about this is the strange choice on how to navigate the menu so using the paddle you can go up and down this first row of games you then have to press the middle button which is a little bit hard to see you have to turn the paddle around and hit select and it'll go to a different column and then you have to switch it like this, so using the paddle left and right, and you have to use the middle button on the top of the first player paddle. What I would have preferred is just to move the paddle up and down the menu and to just press the side button on the paddle. That would have been way easier instead of having to fiddle with the tiny little button in which it's hard to see, select, and it just, I, I, I just, just one of those just kind of design options that shouldn't have been included. I just, I, I don't understand it. Anyways, okay, so you go back and we're gonna go back and show you Pong. 
So I can't get to Pong right now unless I hit select, and now I can hit it, and then you hit a separate button to start it. That is too many buttons, especially for something simple like this. This is Pong, and let's see here. And what do you know? What I notice off the bat is there's some type of weird, I don't know what it is, filter, and um, I, I I don't like it at all. There's like a filter, and so you know it's advertising 1080i, and and on the you know having it having to play something in HD TV and it has this like filter. I don't like it at all. I wish that, I, you know, hopefully Ad Games is aware of this issue and they're doing something about it. I don't know when it's going to be fixed, though. But I, you know, noticed it off the bat <laughs> and don't like it. So this is Pong, and there can be two-player version. So uh, the first player is actually the second controller. And so you can choose different versions. And so by pressing select, this is two. This is three, so there you go. This is the two-player version. Who wants to help me play this? Me! Oh. All right, come here. All right, here we go. All right, you try that? So you move that paddle, I'll move this paddle, okay? You ready? All right. Okay, you're going to try? So my daughter Kaylee is going to help me play this. There you go. Oh, there you go. All right, she's got it. Oh, didn't get it. Let's try this again. All right, nice. All right, we're playing Pong. She loves this. You liking this? Yeah. Okay, press the button. Yes. Yep. All right. Oh, didn't get it. Oh! One nice feature about playing Paddle games on this particular unit is the rewind feature. So just in case you, you die, you can press rewind and it goes back. All right, breakout. Another timeless classic. Let's see how it plays and go ahead and check it out. Again, it would have looked a lot better without that video filter. It's playing okay. One thing it's important to note is that if you want to save a rewind, all those features are on the, the first player paddle. So if you're second player and you want to rewind or something on certain games, you're not going to be able to. You're going to have to go back over to this uh, first player paddle, press the menu, press the save. Do you want to overwrite save? Press fire. Yes. It's... It's kind of a weird function, so that's that's one thing. Okay, save successful. It's nice to see Stunt Cycle as one of the games on here. Stunt Cycle, and this is kind of a timeless classic. Really cool to see this. Uh, this was a standalone for Atari, and it's nice to see Stunt Cycle as uh, an included game. So again, that video filter makes this game look kind of not the best. And so I know I've talked about it a lot, but... You definitely, definitely, uh, hopefully the, f the fix can be implemented because it doesn't look great. Let's see if I can do it now. Whee! Ah! Oh! Another interesting addition was Quadrapong, which is like four-player Pong. And so, but the only problem is it only comes with a pair of paddles. But there's no way to play Quadrapong. It's really only for two players. This is the type of stuff and oversight about a product like this that, you know, looking at this product, I can notice that there's some issues. And so this being an option on this game, I think is a mistake because it's false advertisement. You can't play four player Pong. All right, Warlords. Again, same problem as Quadrapong. Warlords is a four player game. I played a lot of Warlords. I really like Warlords. Playing Warlords with two players only versus with the computer? Come on. I think that's just kind of a terrible idea. And not having, again, not having the ability to play with four players is just silly. It's like, here it is. This is a mode because it's just using the ROM from Warlords. And you can't play Warlords with two players only. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's it's a terrible idea, and the fact that you can't play Warlords with four players, nope, I can't do it. 
Uh, I wanted to like this product. I want to like this product and understand that it's just a $20 casual gamer experience. There are just several things about it I do differently. One, I think having Warlords only have two paddles included, I think that's a letdown. Not having the Pong Arcade would have been nice to have that on this. I didn't like the video filter. I didn't like the menu, how it how you navigate it. I didn't like that the paddles were wired. I dealt with it. They handled okay. There's just several things that could have made this product a lot better. And it's, it's unfortunate that a lot of these things were overlooked when producing this because I, it could have been great. At its current status, I think this is a like a stocking stuffer. I don't know if I can recommend it in its current state because I think it could be a lot better. Thank you so much for people continuing to tune into my humble channel as I march towards 70,000 subs. I'm getting there little by little and I love doing these product reviews and I will continue to talk about games and classic games and new products and live streams. I do, I do a little bit of everything. So stay tuned. Uh, I do a wide variety of videos and I do up to three to four videos a week. Continue to tune in, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. This is the Immortal John Hancock. You take care.